I'm Pot Eddie from Pot Eddie's Blind Dog Barbecue, and today I'm making barbecue green beans. Now this recipe is so good, it could change your life. Now first things first, let's give a shout out to Smoking and Grilling. I watched his TikTok video on this, but like a lot of short TikTok video, you don't quite get all the details, so I had to speculate on some of the amounts, but nonetheless, you're going to love this recipe. Now cast iron skillet works quite well for this recipe. I'm adding to a hot skillet that's set on medium heat, 12 ounces of smoky maple bacon, and this is sliced kind of on the thin side. And I cut the bacon up crossways into small pieces. Now you can quarter it, or you can even go with smaller pieces than that. And you could cook hotter than medium heat, but of course medium's a lot more forgiving, so that's why I'm doing it, because I've been making a video. Now keep that bacon stirred around, and work on separating out the individual pieces of bacon. We want to cook this bacon until it's almost done, and then you add in one good cup of white onions. So smoking and grilling talked about the importance of scraping up the fond off the bottom of the skillet, so you get all these great flavors incorporated into the recipe. But for those of you that might not know what fond is, it's those small particles of brown food that get stuck to the bottom of your pan. It would especially be like meat particles, and fond is used a lot when you're making different sauces. So scrape up that fond and get it into the mix. You want to keep everything gently mixed up in the skillet until the onions start to get some color. Now we're going to turn that burner off and we'll move the bacon and onions over to one side of the skillet and we're going to just pour off the excess grease. You can save it or discard it, whatever your choice. Once we get rid of that excess grease, you go back on the medium heat. Okay, next I added in one cup of barbecue sauce. And I'm using a recipe for barbecue sauce that I got from Jerby Barbecue on YouTube. And I've got a great video on Jerby's Joss, that's what he calls it, and the link for that is right up here. Now give it about a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. And you want to give that a little stir. Now next I went with one cup of brown sugar. Yeah, stir it in and then cook it down some. You want to reduce it. And this is where it became apparent to me that perhaps maybe three quarters of a cup of barbecue sauce might have been more what smoking and grilling use, or maybe even a half a cup. Mine in the skillet never thickened up quite as much as smoking and grilling did. Now I got two cans of cut green beans. I got it spread out in a nine by 13 casserole dish. But keep in mind that smoking and grilling did recommend canned green beans over fresh. Anyway, I use two cans of the cut green beans, and when your skillet's been reduced down a bit, then you want to pour everything over the green beans. You want to mix them around until all the green beans get their fair share of all that barbecue goodness. Now, my oven is preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, and they go in uncovered for 15 minutes. Oh man, they sure look delicious. And I'll leave a link right up here for that video. That pork loin and green beans, they are the real deal together. Now, I simply can't say enough about how great they turned out. This recipe is definitely next level. Guys, like I said before, I think I used a little more barbecue sauce than what smoking and grilling did, but I'm not sure that I'd change a thing for next time. I like having some extra sauce on the plate to go with that pork loin. And I promise you, this recipe is one of my new favorites. So you need to be sure and check out Smoking and Grilling. But before you leave, hit that like button, consider subscribing, and I hope to see you next time at Paw Daddy's Blind Hog Barbecue.